we're going to try and catch that wave. We're going to play this three. Now you're going, call it. Three is going to knock you off. Well, I gain a stoke token, so I'm going to gain this stoke token, but I'm going to use this stoke token to put that as a minus one. So we're going to go right up to here. Now, something you guys should know about stoke tokens. I could use two of them if I wanted in one round, but I can't cancel them out. So I can't say one's a positive, one's a negative. All stoke has to be used in one direction. Well, this time I'm using it to decrease this number by one. So we'll flip this over to our score side of the board and let's catch that wave. As we're catching our wave, everyone sees how we caught just the perfect wave just as it was breaking. So they give us plus one for every card we're gonna play on this, um, uh, this run, which is totally awesome because that should hopefully rack up our points. Purple's gonna hang out. He cannot catch this one wave, so he's gonna wait for either a perfect one or just one that he can catch. And yellow over here can't catch the one wave, so he'll also wait. And just like usual, I forget to draw, so this card will go into our hand. We have a two, three here, and we get pushed three. One, two, three on our short board. Ooh. And this one's gonna push us north. Okay, that's not terrible. And now we move to advancing. And we're gonna hope we roll a two this time. We rolled a two! Oh, sometimes luck is on our side. The reason why I wanted this to be a two is because now there is a perfect wave for our purple AI. I was really worried about the purple AI trying to snake us because we're not gonna be able to play a really high numbered card. And if he played a higher number card, he'd snake that wave from me. I was gonna be really ticked. So since I rolled a two, he's gonna chill out there till that two gets there because there's a perfect wave coming. So because of that, we're safe. Oh, so I think what I'm gonna play this round is just a roundhouse. I know it's not that amazing. It's gonna push us one down here, but that's because our wave could potentially push us all the way to here. And I'm really hoping to be able to use this stoke token with my number four card, maybe at the end, just stay on my surfboard. <laughs> we'll see what happens. So we'll put this in the scoring board and we're set to go. And don't forget, I'll draw a card. I get a three into my hand. Neither of the AI are gonna move because they both see a perfect wave in sight, so they're gonna chill. Now let's see what the wave brings us. Oh, a three forward, one, two, three, a surge. This might work for us. What's our next card? A two to three backwards? No, I don't think it is gonna work for us. Bummer. Let's advance those waves. I've just gotta last one more round in this uh, on this short board. Oh, there's a six. This is gonna actually be breaking right here. Ooh, that's interesting. That gives me, nah, it's not gonna, I, I was thinking maybe I could catch that, but I, I'd have to wait at least till next round. It's not gonna happen. This round, the wave is gonna be pushing me this way, two to three. So I think I'm gonna play this card that's gonna push me two this way and use my last stoke token so I only move one. But this means no matter how much that wave pushes me, I'm guaranteed to make this uh, this run, which is gonna be a plus two because I get to the shore. And then these three cards all give me plus one and I've got two stoke tokens. I think I'm gonna score okay on this run. And don't forget, I still get to draw a card. So this will go into my hand. Our AI, purple's still gonna wait for that glorious two, but our yellow here jumps on to the four and he has a perfect wave. Oh no, it's breaking at the right time. He could score a lot of points here. And he's gonna draw the top card for his score. He gets two points to start with, which is actually three. I'm gonna then jump off of this wave, come over here, score the two points. Let's see what we got for that, for that uh, run. I did an off the lip trick with a rail grab and a roundhouse, all while catching the perfect wave and gaining two stoke because I was so pumped about it. So my score is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points. And don't forget, since I rode that wave to shore, I gain a stoke token. Eleven points on the short board <laughs> puts us right at the 5.0 here as well. So now I've got two scores for my short board. So I think I'm gonna flip back over to my long board just so that way I for sure get two scores of each because what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare to the AIs their two highest scores on their short boards and two highest scores on their long boards and compare it to what mine are. So the fact that if I just get 
two runs of each, that's going to help. And then, I mean, look at yellow only has one right now. And I'm thinking of maybe snaking yellow. I don't know. I just He's going to score a ton of points. I'm almost 100% positive I forgot to reveal the wave card, which is fine because I was still, I was at the edge of my short board on the north side, on the nose, so that should be fine. So, hey, move two, no problem there. Oh, I don't get to show you how a barrel works and I'm not going to be on a surfboard. Oh, this is bad. This means yellow is going to score a barrel. Okay, so what a barrel is, is when the wave uh, is falling or cresting, cr cr crescenting, I don't know what the word is, but when it creates almost this barrel and you surf right in the middle of it, you score a ton of points for that. Five to be exact. Here's the token. Now, when you're playing this and you are trying to get this barrel, it depends on which board you are using to gain that five points. If I'm playing with a long board, then I need to try and play a card that's going to match the exact number on the other side of this card. If I'm playing with a short board, I succeed as long as I don't play the number that's on the other side of this card. So it's easier to succeed with a barrel run on your short board than on your long board. However, if I'm on my short board and I play the four, the number four card, I totally disregard this barrel. It's like I avoided it completely. I don't get the bonuses, but I also don't wipe out if I fail. And that reminds me, I switched back to my long board and I have this four in my hand. I immediately have to discard it and I'll draw a new card, this roundhouse. For us, because we're playing an AI, they always succeed at this. So that means the yellow player is going to get a blue uh, barrel token. That's five points. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to snake them. First, I'm going to make sure I switch to my long board so I don't forget. And I'm going to use the right token. <laughs> then we're going to push this wave down. I just love how this works. Oh, and I should have said the last time this one was breaking. That's okay. Shouldn't have made a difference. There we go. And now I'm going to roll, and let's see if I can roll another six. No, oh, I rolled a five. Oh, man, I rolled a five. Really? Okay. Well, I might have an idea. For this round, I'm simply going to play a paddle out, the vertical snap, and move myself three spaces out into the channel. And then I'm going to use my one-time use jet ski. Now, this card I got from the campaign. It's one of the stoke cards, and in the competitive mode, I could use my stoke tokens to purchase it. But here, I had to earn it through moving up the rank. But I'm going to use this. It says, while in the channel, so while I'm in that channel, I can discard this card and immediately place your surfer anywhere in the channel. So that's going to get me to move all the way up to the five space on the channel. But now this card is gone for the rest of the campaign until I earn another one. And there's an, only a total of three of these in the campaign. So this is risky. But I think it's worth it. I, I need a good run. If I'm not going to snake the yellow guy, which I'm thinking of not snaking the yellow guy, I need to instead have a really good run here. And, of course, I draw another card. Oh, it's a four. Can't have that with my long board. So I have a three. Okay, I'm going to go all the way out to five. Yeah. And you see what I'm doing. Next round, I should be able to catch this five just when it's breaking, and I'll have a perfect from five all the way down as long as I don't fall off of my surfboard. <laughs> Purple, still not going to go anywhere. Yellow, scores again. Can't do a four, thank goodness, because he's on a long board. Short board, one, I'll take that. Now we'll reveal this card, and you can see here it's a one. So that means that we would, since we have the long board, we would have had to choose a one as the card we played this round. Or if we were using the short board, we just couldn't use or couldn't have picked a one to be able to be successful going through that barrel. Unfortunately, the AI is successful. So that yellow player gains five precious points. And for our next round, zero to one, a small movement, great. We can play maybe a high card here. We really couldn't have gotten luckier to have this two show up just at the right time for this purple player because look at how long the purple player has been waiting going to wait a whole nother round and do nothing which is awesome we have another six so this is going to be breaking right here and this five is going to be breaking right now perfect time for us first things first let's catch this wave so we're going to use a three 
we're going to use a stoke token so we only move two forward one two hoping that that wind wi that wave card not the wind card the wave card pushes us up to here and we can get another hang 10. oh yeah we'll draw a new card and we've got a three and we also gain a stoke token for catching a wave since we're catching the wave at the perfect time we get our plus one and we'll get ourselves onto this wave and then we'll draw for the yellow. The yellow will score three. Oh man, it's a lot of points. And purple is simply gonna wait. We're really hoping for a push forward here. Oh my gosh, yes! Glass pushing us forward plus two. Jeez, you guys, I am getting lucky. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good, right? Let's see what we have next. A two, three down, which that's okay. Let's move the entire wave down, and we'll give this a roll. We rolled a two. We're back to the twos. Put this right here, and we're set for the next round. Oh, I almost forgot. This is breaking, so the purple player finally gets to jump on a wave. And I never changed this one. I'm not going to change it now. Sorry about that. So all of these are breaking except for the two back here. So if you guys look at my hand, I only have cards that push down. So because of that, I think I'm going to play conservatively here because I'm going to get pushed down two to three spaces. And I don't have a lot of ways to push back up right now. So I'm only going to play the roundhouse just so I'm keeping it safe. But hey, that's still worth two points because we're in a perfect wave. So I'm okay with that. First thing I'll do is draw my card. And I can't. That's a four facing down. Thank goodness because I want something facing up. Good. That's going to be facing up. Then our yellow player scores a three. Jeez, that's going to be a lot of points. And purple is going to jump on this one. It's going to score a perfect token as well. And let's see what card he draws. A two. Okay, at least it wasn't a four. Let's see what this wave does to our balance. Three down. <laughs> one, two, three. Ouch. Yeah, okay. Next round, zero to one either way. Oh, man. Yellow's pretty happy with himself. He's going to jump off, score two points, grab the different board, get himself ready for the next round, but he scored a ton there on his long board. He scored three, six, seven, eight, nine, plus five is 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 points. Ouch. 18 points on his long board, seven and a half. I have two at five. Seven and a half is insane. I just counted. We have a total of 10 more rounds left. It's going to take us one, two, three, three more rounds to finish this, assuming we don't fall off of the wave. And then at least four and five and maybe five more to do another run. So I think we've got two more runs in us, maybe. Let's see if we can use that wisely. Come on. It's a one. Wow. That's not going to break for a long time. We know the wave can push us a zero or one this way or this way. So I think with these cards, we're going to have to use our cutback. Ugh. It's only worth one point and only moves us one this way. But I still think it's worth it holding on to this one stoke token for later when maybe we can get ourselves up there. I don't know. Come on. We're going to draw a new card. Nice. We needed more a north or forward facing cards. Purple is gonna score and gets a one. Okay, not terrible. He'll jump off of here and we'll score him in a second. He'll go back to his, uh, what is he on? Is he on his short board right now? Yes, so he'll go back to his long board. And the yellow over here is simply gonna move all the way up to four, looking to score another seven and a half. That was a great run he had. Here we have the purple's short board run. Not great. Two, three, four, five. A total of five points. I'm okay with that. Five points puts them right here. So it is a little bit better than our run here, but this run is more, it's a whole point better than he's only a half a point better than us over here. So our short board, we would still beat him. Mind you, we'd only beat him by a half a point. So it's not by much, but we would still beat him. Come on, wave, be nice to us. Push us north. Ah, man, it's going to push us down this way. It's okay, but that's the whole reason why I need more cards that push forward. Oh, man, in this one, we have no idea which way it's going to push. Ugh, just makes it really hard to plan. Welcome to nature, though. 
We're hoping what we roll here is not a four. We want it to not be a four. And I missed the thing. There you go. Okay, it's a six. Uh, I still would have preferred something that wasn't already breaking, so our yellow player would have to wait longer. But he'll still have to wait till that six shows up. And maybe we'll roll a four later, and then he'll wait for that four. Uh, we'll see. We don't honestly know which way the waves are going to push us. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to play this two card. But I'm also going to use my stoke token so we can push ourselves three. One, two, three. Because if we get pushed zero, we're totally fine over here since all the other cards we have push us south or down. Also, if it does push us one this way, we gain another hang ten token, which would be awesome. And we're using our stoke token, so that's just another point for us as well. And I'm going to remember to draw. Man, we only have cards that push us down. So hopefully this card, maybe it's a zero or even pushes us um, forward one. For the AI, purple's just going to ride out to two and wait to try and catch a perfect wave. And yellow can't catch this unbroken wave, so just going to sit there and wait. We're looking for a one this way if we can yes thank you glass one forward that is two more points you know what that means we're gonna have a great run here maybe we can even get over 7.5 that the yellow player has yes and if we do that in the uh in the long board that's perfect because he did it in the long board because remember we're going to compare scores for the long boards and the short boards so as long as I can keep on par on the long boards, I'm okay. I almost forgot. We get to look at the next card. <laughs> Two, three, north, not a problem at all. We've got all cards going the opposite way, so that's great. Let's push that wave down. Starting the next round, hoping for not a four, a six. Okay, that's good at least. We're not going to give him a perfect wave for him to catch. For this round, it's silly not to play a three, going down that's going to score us a total of four points and if we just so happen to draw a three that pushes us up this way we get another hang 10 token to get three in one run would be awesome both of the ais just going to sit and wait can't catch it it's unbroken and our perfect wave is coming next round for our purple player so they're both just going to sit and wait so far my card luck has been pretty good let's see if it lasts ah man it's only a two okay that's all right we're still only one away from there, but we're still on the board. That's what matters. And we've got a zero to one here. We're actually going to jump off of that wave. I didn't even realize that was my last one. And we're going to score. And I think we're going to score big here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 points on that surf. Boy, that was good. We had a vertical snap, followed by an off the lip, followed by a quick cut back, a roundhouse, and ended with a rail grab. 21 points puts us at an 8.5. Yeah, we totally blew that 7.5 out of the water. <laughs> out of the water. I didn't even try and do that. We're definitely going to go back to our short board, hoping that maybe we can get above a 1.5 at least, so our short board score will be better, but I'm feeling pretty good. It's just going to be now, if, if that yellow player can score huge on this on a short board run, we might have a problem. But otherwise, I'm feeling okay. To start the next round, let's push down the waves. Hoping for maybe a four now wouldn't be terrible. My goodness, come on. Roll it in here. Oh, look at that. It is a four. That means that that yellow player is going to wait till that shows up. I forgot to show you last round, I gained a stoke token because I got all the way over to the shore. And I should have drawn another card. Perfect. I'm going to start out with playing a three. Let's move ourselves out into the channel. We've got our cool little short board. We're going to come right over here. Purple is going to jump on to this wave. He's going to get a perfect token because that is exactly at a two. And then he's going to draw a three. Of course he draws a three. Jeez. And, of course, we should have drawn another card, so this card is for us a one. Can I switch those? <laughs> the yellow player is simply going to stay where he's at because he's going to wait for this four to show up so he can have a perfect wave. So we'll just grab the wave deck. We don't really care what this card is. Just discard it. And now we've got a two, a plus or minus on either side for a two. That's got to be some sort of choppy card. 
to start the next round. I will push this on down. Let's see. And we get a six. Oh my goodness. Another one that's available to us. And I forgot to flip this one. Sorry, you guys. You, you can do that. It really helps, especially at first. But after a while, you can easily tell which ones you can uh, jump onto because they're broken and which ones aren't. So you don't need to do it. It's more just to visually help you see which waves are possible for you to jump onto. Okay, you guys, I'm going to be a little bit mean here. I'm going to move one space up so I can try and fight and vie for that um, four that's coming up next round. Because if I can win that, I think I can stop yellow from doing anything great. Oh, and I got a three. Awesome. First things first, purple is going to score. Scores a two. Not great. Jumps off and goes back to his uh, short board. Fine, with, fine by me. I'm going to move up by one, and yellow and I are going to vie for this four next round. Purple scores for that long board. Three, four, five, six, seven, plus two more is nine. Nine certainly isn't bad. We'll place that here. But if you look, my two long boards are both higher than the purple, so we're fine. And the yellow, with the two yellow here for the long board, we're fine. So I really think it's just going to be the short board. I think with the long board, we're going to be able to take first place. The short board... We're currently winning. Yellow doesn't even have anything on the board. But if yellow gets this perfect and goes four down, he's going to score a ton of points. And I think he would jump into first. So that's why if I snake him, if I'm able to grab this, uh, this wave before he does, oh, I might be able to secure a double win on both boards. Let's see if I can do it. First, let's remove this wave card. We've got a 2-3 going down. Boy, this is going to be... This is going to be fun. If we get onto that board to be able to stay on it, I, I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. <laughs> but, okay, we'll push these down. We'll give this a roll. We've got a three. So we'll go here. And this starts breaking. Perfect. And now it gets real. Let's see if we can get that four. Our best bet is to play this three card and use our stoke token. Now you see how this card is teal? There are teal cards and brownish cards. I don't know what color that is exactly. But if our yellow player draws a three, the same three that I have, and it's a different color, the teal always beats the other one. So I have a slight advantage. But if I draw a green teal card that's a three, boom. We both wipe out. So let's see what he draws. Well, first of all, I need to move my balance. And this is what he draws. Now, he could draw a four. Because remember, fours work for the short board. And if he draws a four, he knocks me out. Uh, it's a one. <laughs> yes. So that means we jumped onto that, uh, that wave. He totally missed. You know, I almost feel bad about it because, you know, it's not very nice to steal a wave from somebody else. But, you know, it's George. He's not a very nice guy from what I've heard. So, you know, he'll just fall into the wash. Next round, he'll have to recover. And I don't think he's going to be able to do a full another run with the short board. So I think we're going to win this, you guys. And, of course, purple will move up to two. So purple can still do something. Who knows? But if I can roll a two, he's just going to sit there and wait. So if I can roll a two in these waves, he'll just sit and wait, and then I can win this. I should have mentioned I got a perfect token because I caught that right when it was breaking, and we move two down from the lull. We now have a two, three facing up. And now I'm going to count the discard pile for you guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. We have four more rounds. I have enough time to finish this run as long as I don't fall off. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And, of course, I only have four cards in my hand, so I'm going to draw this one, and this will go to my hand. A three, and I have no stoke tokens. Because I vied for that spot, I don't get a stoke token. If I had just taken that wave like normal, I'd gain a stoke token. I don't have any, so it's gonna be likely I'm gonna fall off of this uh, uh, off of this surfboard. But I think I might still have enough to win. Let's push up those waves, and we'll roll the die. We get a five. Perfect. Not bad. We need to do three more rounds. Can we do three more rounds? Stay on that short board. We know we're gonna move at least two, three forwards. So let's play our two 
for going backwards, our floater, so we stay safe. The purple player, since there are no twos that he can see, he's just going to jump onto here and start riding the wave. He's going to grab a one. Great, and it's not perfect. That's awesome. And then the yellow player is simply just going to come back to shore. He's going to recover, so next round he can go back out onto the channel. We're going to get pushed two or three forward, and let's see. It's three. One, two, three. Woo! And the next one, two or three backward. I must have, you remember you guys, I discarded six cards at the beginning of the game. I must have discarded most of the barrel cards because I've only seen one, right? So this would actually not be a bad time to get a barrel card because on the short board, it's a lot easier to get through the barrel than on the long board. So maybe we'll find one. Who knows? And of course, I forgot to draw a card. Here's the three. I always forget that. Let's push ourselves up once more. Now, you guys, if we can survive for two more rounds, I think it's almost a guarantee that we have won this game. So I am excited. I think we can do it. We can at least survive this round, and then it's just going to really depend on what, upon what that next card is. For this round, I think I'm simply going to play a one card to push myself up here because I know I'm going to get pushed two or three down here. And, hey, that's still worth two points to us. And you know what? I can do it this way because the wave isn't going to affect them. So let me just flip this and we get pushed two more down. Doing great. And did you see this? Barrel card is next. Yeah. And of course, I will draw a card and I get a four. Ooh. Purple is going to score and grab a four and he's on a short board. So he gets that. Oh, man. He's going to jump off. He's going to swap to his long board, and we'll score him at the end. Oh, I cannot believe he grabbed a four. That could change things a little bit. Yellow here, I don't think he's going to have a chance. He's going to come out here to four and try and catch another wave. But he's got to wait till next round and then move four more, and I don't think I have enough cards, so I think he's done. I forgot. Purple did not get a perfect token, so he just gets a four and a one, a total of five for his short board. A five for a short board, he already had. So that is already his lowest score for the short board. So nothing changes. Whew, that's good. I almost forgot he did score the two points for hitting the shore. So he actually scored a seven. So he's going to move to here. Now, if he has his score is a three and a four is a total of seven points for his short board. Our short boards right now is five and a one and a half, so that's six and a half. So right now, he is now in first place for the short board. With only two rounds left, I think I know what I'm going to do, you guys, and I feel like a cop-out, but I think I got to do it because if I'm going to win this game, which I would really like to for the campaign perspective, you want to move up in rankings as much as you can, right? So I think what I'm going to do is a bailout here because... That way, I'm still going to score enough points to get above his lower score and score enough, and that way I don't accidentally wipe out on this barrel roll. What that means is I can just place a card over in this area, the bail area, and I would then move my surfer to the channel. And that way, I don't have to worry about successfully doing this barrel, which would have been a one. <laughs> so if I had played a one, I would have wiped out. But that doesn't matter. I didn't do that. I'm okay. I just get to score what I have here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this one for 10. A score of 10 will get us to a 4.5, and that means for our short board, we got a total of 9 compared to his 7. Now, we only have one card left in the wave deck, and it's another barrel, by the way. And that was a three. Um, so I'm not even going to finish that because it doesn't even matter because no one else is on a wave. No one can finish. So it's game over. So if we count up my long board, seven and a half plus two and a half is a nine and a half. Oh, no, that's that's yellow. Yellow has nine and a half. I have eight and a half and five and a half. That is a total of 13 and a half, I believe. So we definitely won the long board and we definitely won the short board. We won both of them. Yes! Winning both in April means that we move down 10 in the ranking. We'd move from 37 down to 27. 
awesome. And so we just passed 35 and 30. And so we could take another two event cards or stoke cards that we could use. So, and I should check off that I used the jet ski, which is a bummer, but I'll get the jet ski back and I'm going to get another call it back. And that, my friends, was Tavarua. Boy, is it fun. I mean, it's a lot of push your luck. There's a lot of luck involved, and I had luck going with me. Yeah, for a while, the twos were kind of hurting me. But you know what I did? I snaked the yellow guy then so then he didn't get to score points. And then what I did is when I saw that he could maybe get a bunch of points, I made sure to jump into that wave before him so he couldn't grab it. So there's a little bit of that strategy, but then trying to stay on the board, usually it's actually a little bit harder because usually you draw these barrel cards, especially when you're on the long board, and having to try and guess what number that's going to be. But I got, I got really lucky that all my barrel cards are at the end. So... If you play this solo, don't expect to win that quote-unquote easily, and it still wasn't even easy. <laughs> and I'm only in April, so you can just imagine there's going to be more than two AIs. You might be going against three AIs, and you can just imagine with all those different people trying to vie for wave spots. Yeah. Anyways, so cool. I love how the AI works. It's simple. It, it's not intrusive, yet it provides you with a challenge. Yeah, definitely a recommendation for me. I don't own the game. I'm going to have to give it back to Baker, but I might look at picking this one up, really. I, I love the theme, and I actually think it'd be really fun competitively. I haven't played competitive, but I do think it'd be a fun competitive game. Regardless, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in one of my next playthrough series. Yeah.